Hi guys. Well, I'm thrilled to say in the past 10 minutes, it has turned into a beautiful fall day out there and I need to get out there and enjoy it while I still can. But uh, anyway, it is Tuesday, October 18th. And as I'm letting you know, uh, I am toying around with the idea of doing more shorter videos about all the doom and gloom. So we're going to try this model of doom and gloom for a while. Maybe call these snippets of the collapse instead of full chronicle. So I just did a snippet of collapse on uh, these bullshit carbon offset schemes. Uh, anyway, and, and I got a chuckle out of it because in there, you know, they mention an example of how the, these big airlines, these aviation corporations can plant trees and claim that the trees sucking the carbon out of the air are, are somehow making them net zero. And anyway, total BS. So anyway, after reading that, I, uh, I really enjoyed this story out of some uh, local rag down in uh, down in North Carolina, the Star News, asking the question, could wood from North Carolina forest soon be fueling your next airline flight? And this, of course, is a story about biomass, about burning the planet to save the planet. Uh, if you don't recognize what the story is about. Okay, think of North Carolinas or South Carolinas or Georgias or Floridas or Alabama, or Mississippi, Louisiana, East Texas. Anyway, so I would say think about the Southeast United States extensive forest and your next thought probably is not a whirling commercial aircraft engine. But a new partnership announced last month could see green aviation fuel, yes, delivered from North Carolina trees helping connect cities and countries around the world. Last month in Viva, which turns trees and wood products, turns trees and wood products, whatever that means, into pellets that are then burned for energy. Hmm. Announced a deal with Alder Fuels to supply up to 750,000 metric tons of wood biomass to the privately owned Green Crude producer beginning in 2024, and by the way, a metric ton is 2,204 pounds, so multiply 750,000 times 2,204, do the math, this is one biomass contract to make green aviation fuel. Whenever you hear the airlines talking their sustainability crap about how they are moving to green, clean fuels, 750,000 metric tons of forest in North Carolina hitting the ground so you can fly to Disney World. <clears throat> yes. The move would help meet an urgent demand by the aviation industry to develop a greener power source. As climate change concerns grow and businesses come under greater pressure from governments, customers, and investors to lower their carbon footprint and production of atmosphere warming greenhouse gases, the airlines find themselves in a thorny situation. Um, anyway, uh, let's 
so again it goes on from there um, let's see uh, this fellow Humpty Dumpty yes let's chop down the planet to save the planet I guess trees are green fuel you can't argue with that logic there you go so anyway that's the news from the biomass uh, saving the planet with green aviation fuel yep 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 all right I'm gonna keep doing this till my battery collapses what do you think little dog of this new format then Sancho Bonza is not crazy about the new format but we're gonna plow on little dog <laughs>